Hola, hola, buenos días jóvenes, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Hoy vamos a trabajar um, una construcción muy interesante. Okay? It's important that when you hear Spanish, you relax, breathe in, breathe out, and pay attention to words that you already know, that you can identify as cognates okay cognates are words that are very similar in spanish and in english okay they are alike um for example think about inteligente intelligent romantico romantic etc importante important so they are very similar uh we spell them pretty similar and they they not not necessarily they have to sound very similar but sometimes they do okay because remember in english um, you have some other sounds in spanish we have only five sounds um, for the vowels okay and each vowel has only one sound okay so a that's the sound for letter a a e e o u okay and we uh we covered these when we were talking about the alphabet okay so this is basically a review now um in this section in esta sección you see another cognate vamos a hablar a hablar de los verbos ok los verbos para expresar las cosas que nos gustan las cosas que nos gustan what do we like verdad a ver so we we know already some verbs ok some verbs and i have here hablar bailar estudiar y mirar hablar bailar estudiar another cognate and then mirar mirar por ejemplo mirar televisión okay mirar televisión now um what do you notice mm, i hope that you said the endings all of them are ending with AR, okay? AR, AR, AR. So we classify verbs in Spanish by the endings, okay? So verbs that are ending like this, they belong to the first conjugation, okay? AR. Now, hablar, bailar, estudiar y mirar. If I say yo hablar, I will sound very strange because I'm not going to be conjugating the verb, okay? So every time that you see the verb in this form, it means that it's an infinitive, okay? That is not limited to anything or any particular person, any perspective, okay? Now, when I start conjugating the verb, then I limit the verb to a specific perspective, okay? So that is the difference. Now, when we talk about gustar, we don't conjugate these, okay? We don't conjugate them. We use only me gusta, and that's the verb. That's the main verb, and it's already conjugated. So, me gusta, me gusta. And then I'm going to add hablar, bailar, estudiar y mirar. And with this one, I'm expressing I like to talk, to dance, to study, to look. Okay. Uh, we use mirar a la televisión. It's, 
it's another way to express to watch. But eventually we will learn a verb to express to watch, okay? For now we can use this one, mirar is to, to see, to look at something, okay? Bien. Again, gusta is the verb and it's already conjugated. And it's a very strange verb. So that's why we're learning this structure, esta estructura primero, okay? So every time that I want to express what I like, I'm going to say me gusta, and then I'm going to use an infinitive, okay? Bien, if it's not me who likes something, then I'm going to change this little part over here. But then the verb is going to stay the same because, as I said, it's a very strange verb and it's going to be like that all the time. That's the construction, okay? Now, if it's you who likes the stuff, or in this case, the actions, then I'm going to use te. Te gusta. Te gusta bailar. And then if it's ella, it will be le, L-E. Le gusta bailar. Le. Le gusta bailar, etc., etc., etc. And it's going to start changing. Okay? Bien. 